Hi, I'm Dr. Marcy Bolster. I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine at Harvard Medical School, and I'm the Director of the Rheumatology Fellowship Training Program at Mass General Hospital. And these are Mass General Brigham's answers to the most commonly asked questions about osteoarthritis. What is osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis is a degenerative type of joint disease. It's the most common type of arthritis and it affects over 32 million people in the United States. Osteoarthritis affects the cartilage, the bones, the ligaments, and the tendons. Osteoarthritis is a non-inflammatory type of arthritis. It's characterized by causing pain and stiffness. It can result in limitation of motion of joints so that they don't go through their full range of motion. And it affects the small joints, such as the small joints in the hands. It also can affect the joint at the base of the thumb. It frequently involves the feet, especially the big toe. And it can involve larger joints, such as the hips or the knees. It can also involve the spine. What is the difference between arthritis and osteoarthritis? Arthritis is an umbrella term, and osteoarthritis is one of the types of arthritis. And it's different from other types of arthritis because osteoarthritis is non-inflammatory. What are the symptoms of osteoarthritis? The signs of osteoarthritis include bony enlargement of joints, swelling of joints, tenderness to palpation of joints, reduced range of motion, painful range of motion, and crepitus, which is a kind of crackling sound um, when the joint is put through the range of motion. And this is most commonly seen at the knees. What causes osteoarthritis? Some things that predispose patients to osteoarthritis include overuse or repetitive motion of joints, prior injury of joints, abnormality of joints, and genetics. One study has revealed that the lifetime risk for a person to develop osteoarthritis of the knee is almost 50%, and to develop osteoarthritis of the hip is about 25%. What are the risk factors for osteoarthritis? The risk factors for osteoarthritis include age, sex, abnormal joint, prior injury to joint, obesity, diabetes, and genetics. Some women in particular may notice that they have nodal osteoarthritis or knobby knuckles that affects the uh, joints just beneath the fingernails and the middle row of joints in the hands. And they may realize that their hands look very similar to the way their mother's hands appeared. What can I do to prevent osteoarthritis? While we can't prevent osteoarthritis from occurring, and we don't have medications to prevent it from progressing, we do have medications to treat the symptoms. The goal with treatment is to improve a patient's function as well as enjoyment of daily activities. How does it feel to have osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis causes pain and stiffness, and it can affect your ability to do daily activities. For people who have osteoarthritis of the hands, they may notice that it's difficult to open a jar or to peel carrots. They might find it helpful to have assistive devices to perform these activities. People with osteoarthritis in the knee or the hip can experience pain with walking and it can limit how much walking they wish to do. How is osteoarthritis diagnosed? Physical examination will be performed as part of your office visit. The doctor will want to evaluate the joints that are particularly troublesome to you. The doctor, however, is aware that these joints cause pain and will keep this in mind as the doctor puts your joints through range of motion and presses on your joints to get an adequate assessment of the type of arthritis you're experiencing. X-rays can be used to support the diagnosis of osteoarthritis and to determine the degree of involvement of the joint. It's important for the doctor to get a good assessment of the cause of your pain so that your symptoms can be adequately treated. How is osteoarthritis treated? The goals for treatment are to reduce symptoms, especially pain and stiffness, and to improve or maintain function. 
Non-pharmacological treatments include exercise for strengthening, weight loss, occupational therapy, physical therapy, use of assistive devices such as a cane or walker, warm water pool exercises, a hot tub, paraffin baths for hands, ice, supportive footwear, a neck pillow, and good mattress support during sleep. Exercise helps to strengthen the muscles around the joints. And for instance, in people who have arthritis of the knee, walking is an excellent form of exercise to strengthen the muscles around the knee. It's important to keep moving. You should keep moving, but listen to your body. If you start experiencing pain or discomfort while exercising, you should stop what you're doing. Studies have shown that with weight loss, patients experience less pain and improved function. Weight loss is something that can be done on your own, or you may benefit from a consultation with a dietitian or nutritionist. Your doctor may refer you to see an occupational therapist or a physical therapist. Often, occupational therapists focus on the upper extremity joints and you may see an occupational therapist to get a splint for your thumb if you are affected by osteoarthritis at the base of the thumb. Physical therapy can be helpful for strengthening exercises and range of motion exercises for joints affected by osteoarthritis. Additionally, for people with osteoarthritis of the back, physical therapy can be an important part of the treatment. The focus will be on core strengthening. The other thing that a physical therapist can help you with is guiding you with assistive devices. Some patients benefit from the use of a cane or a walker. It's important to be sure that the assistive device fits you well and that you're using it properly. Some people continue to experience discomfort and loss of function despite all the different non-pharmacological methods we've discussed. Those patients may benefit from medications. And while many of the medications are available over the counter, it's important for you to talk to your doctor about what medication might be right for you. Pharmacological treatments include analgesics, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, which can be tablets or topical ointment, acetaminophen, and a prescription medication called duloxetine for pain. Some patients have found glucosamine with chondroitin sulfate to be helpful, but the results of medical studies on this medication are mixed. Other pharmacological measures include intraarticular steroid injections and intraarticular hyaluronic acid injections. When should I get surgery? Some patients try all of these treatments and still experience pain and discomfort. Their daily lives are significantly affected by their osteoarthritis. These patients should talk to their doctor about a referral to an orthopedic surgeon to consider joint replacement surgery, also called joint arthroplasty. For more information, check out the links below for the American College of Rheumatology and the Arthritis Foundation. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Dr. Marcy Bolster, and we are Mass General Brigham.